What's good, MABW team? What's going on today, MABW fam? I'm back today with another video. In today's video, this lady here has something to say to all you independent single women and all you single masculine women out there. You know, the ones that think y'all could do whatever a man do, that y'all don't got to let y'all guard down for a man. You know, I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm going to let her get into it. Then we'll come back into my commentary. Let's do it. Hey, girls. Coach B. Wiley. I wanted to let you know it is A-OK -okay to take your britches off, figuratively speaking, and let that man wear the pants and allow him to lead. You can't shout from the rooftops how guys no longer pursue, how they're no longer chivalrous, how they don't open doors how they don't actually and actively call and take you out and ask you out and inquire about you and all the interests that come with you if you are unwilling to let them. A man can't be a man as long as you're being the man. So I want you for the love of God to let your guard down. And when I say that, of course, you always want to listen to your gut. Always listen to your gut. Not only that, follow your gut when you're dating a guy. You'll know if he's full of crap and or if he is not. So as long as his actions are leading you in a good, warm, fun, high vibrational environment and he's being consistent and he's literally backing up with his actions, everything that he says, and sometimes he's a man of few words, and all he does is more action than running his mouth and bumping his gums, then you might just have yourself a winner. However, you could possibly, what is the word, <clears throat> repel, I believe. You can also repel that winner by wanting to lead, wanting to wear the pants because you've done it for so long. I get it, you're single. I get it, you're Miss Independent. I get it. You have to hold. I want to stop her right there. And I want to tell women out there one thing right now, okay? For the love of God, stop screaming that you're independent. Some way, all women for the most part are getting some type of financial help through men or the government. For the most part. Whether it be via alimony, via child support. Or just plain and simple asking that man for money here and there. If you have done any of those three things, you're not Miss Independent as you think you are. So please stop screaming you're independent. Please. And it's okay to, uh, to not scream that if you're really not. But some women be really wanting to make it seem as if they're Miss Independent and they're really not. They're getting some type of help some type of assistance they are stop screaming you're independent all the time hold it down for you and your child and your children because whoever you made those children with decided to step aside and not help you trust me i understand all the things that's false right there first of i want to i want to correct see i want to correct certain things this is one thing women and coaches like her need to understand Sometimes men are not, they're, they're not just stepping aside because they don't want to take care of their children. They're stepping aside because the woman or the lady that they were with, they're toxic. All baby fathers are not just out of their children's life because they want to be. Some baby fathers are out of their children's life because the mothers won't let them come around. And if the fathers do come around, those baby mothers or those women in general, they want to act toxic or they want to call the cops on that man or they want to start some type of trouble with that man to get him in trouble with the law. So men won't come around for those certain reasons because men don't want to get locked up for false accusations. I also understand that a guy wants a soft place to land on. He wants peace. He doesn't want to call you after a long day and it's a bunch of drama. Women will never understand that. I'll always state that all men want 
day in and day out is peace. Men have no where or area to come to open up to most women for the most part, or women will think that they're soft. But I told men on my channel before, women can come to you all day, five days a week after they leave their job, talking to you about all the nonsense about what's going on with other women at their job and how they don't like their boss and how they don't like other women. They always come to you talking about that. And you got to hear that day in and day out. And you can't tell her, well, maybe it's just you. Maybe you're the problem. You can't say that to her. And you, and mind you, you had a decent day at work or you could have had a stressful day at work. But once you get home and sit on your couch and you're watching TV, you're at peace. And sometimes women will come home if you're living with them and disturb your peace. That's why I always tell men out there, have your own place. Have your own place. So you don't got to worry about a lady coming home to you disturbing your peace. I don't care if y'all a couple or not. Just have your own place. You have your own place. She has her own place. Now nobody can disturb anybody's peace. And if she wants to disturb, and if she wants to disturb your peace, she can call you. And if you don't want to hear too much of that, you could be like, it's time for me to go. I'm getting off the phone. But if y'all live together, you're going to have to sit around and hear it some way, somehow. Even if she's on the phone with somebody else which could be one of her girlfriends talking, you're still going to overhear it. So it's still going to bother your peace. Am I wrong, guys? Y'all let me know. You're being combative. You're being confrontational. And I'm not telling you to lay down like a feather and blow all over the place. I'm just saying be warm, be inviting, and focus on what your energy is giving. Someone might come in here, I might have to end this. So if you're watching this, and if you don't know what your energy is given, ask the men in your life, from your brother, your cousin, your even your guy co-workers, whoever you talk to. I'm going to stop her right there. A woman should never lean on her guy co-workers to talk about anything emotional or to anything about her man to another guy. Because men find vulnerable spots in women so that they can weasel or slither their way, up, their, their way up in there to do something with her. That's definitely the wrong advice to give. Yeah, she can find some type of support in her brothers or her father, maybe an uncle, cousin. But to say go to a co-worker, another man, that's not the right advice to give. And I'm pretty sure women out there can agree with me, but some women probably wouldn't agree because... Women sometimes look for validation in other men. If the man isn't validating them, they if her man isn't validating her, she'll look for validation in other men or find comfort in other men or another man because women are emotional creatures. And men are not, that, that's never going to change ever. You want to make sure there is no romantic interest whatsoever. That's why I suggest and recommend family members who know who you Let me stop too right there. It cannot, it don't even got to be a romantic interest with the guy at our job. The guy at our job could just want to smash. He don't got to, you don't got to have a romantic interest in a woman to want to take her down. I want to make that clear. Some guys will act like they don't want to have, some guys will put on that facade like they don't have a romantic interest in you. But believe me when I tell you, they still will take you down, ladies, even if you have a boyfriend. That's if you're going to them about what's going on in your relationship with your man and you're acting vulnerable around those guys. You are from the inside out because they're going to give you the real spill. All you got to do is open up your ears and listen, receive the constructive criticism and adjust because it's too many Worthy women out here who are of great quality, who are losing and missing out on equally quality men because you're walking around here like you got a construction hat on and your workman boots on. Let's stop it right there. That's not why they're missing out on quality men. Ladies right now are missing out on quality men because they're going for athletes entertainers, someone in that work field. They want the guys with the fast money. 
they're actually bypassing the guys with the work boots on, the plumbers, guys climbing up on towers, doing electrical work, architecture. They're bypassing those guys right now to go to the guys that are making the fast money or the so-called high earners. And then when those guys run through them and they see that those men don't want nothing to do with them, that's when those ladies turn around and want to go back to all those other guys that I just mentioned. But those guys that are in the field of construction, electrical work, um, plumbers, those are the guys that need to bypass those women later on down the line because they bypass you. So you got to do you got to reciprocate that and bypass them when they come back to you later on in life trying to get with you. When really you don't. You're actually soft, delicate, engaging, warm, funny, kind. However, he doesn't get that experience because he gets the experiences that you're pushing upon him due to your experiences that you're still carrying around in that heavy bag of luggage. So do yourself another favor. Drop that luggage off at the door. Act accordingly when guys are approaching and engaging. Let him open the door. And the reason why I came up with the whole door thing where I keep enforcing that is because when I came into the gym just today, let me tell y'all something. I parked in the first parking space, but it was like, kind of across from the door and there were other parking spaces that were right up next to the door so there were two men there was a man that was literally at the first door he was there I was just getting out of my car kind of walking slowly it's rain and I just got done working out and then there was another guy who was coming from his right and he could have easily walked in the door both of those men went out of their way to wait for me I know they went out of their way because I was walking slow on purpose. And then number two, I ain't about to walk fast. It's right outside. And then number three, it can be awkward when you be going up to doors and you're coming in and they're coming in from both sides. That can be awkward. So I didn't want to make for an awkward situation. But little did I know I looked up and they both had both doors open waiting on me to come in. They didn't want nothing for me. They just saw a lady walking in the rain going to the gym and they went out of their way. You're one of the lucky ones, lady. You're one of the lucky ones, especially when it comes to gyms. Seeing what men have dealt with in gyms, you're lucky that those men held the door open for you. And my guys can contest to this and they can understand why I'm saying that you're lucky. Guys, you know damn well why I'm saying that. Let's finish up this video. To be nice. Men like this exist everywhere, not just in the gym I go to. They're everywhere. They're at your job. They're at your gym. They're at your church. They're at your grocery store. They're at the post office when you go to get a stamp. Your eyes just have to be open and your energy has to be inviting. So remember that. Always keep that inviting spirit and energy so that you can attract a guy that is going to actually care for and comfort you and so you won't have to be so hard. Let's stop the damn video right there. I can understand what you're saying, but I can tell you this right now, that the women aren't even listening to you. They're listening, but this, but it's actually going in one ear and out the other. Men, women this day and age, the women out there, they don't make it inviting for men anymore to want to even step to them. And I've already told men on this channel why that is. So hopefully women take heed to what she says. Women, if y'all want to know who she is, her name is Coach B. Wiley. That's her channel. Definitely go support and check her out and see what else she has to say. I think that she puts out a good message. I think a few things can be tweaked. But other than that, y'all check her out. That's my video. Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.